Hello, this is Josh Waybright, and I'm performing an MP3, MPA3 assessment on a compost sample that has been diluted to a 1 to 15 ratio. My screen resolution is 232 micrometers high by 335 micrometers wide. I'm going to do a swimming lane approach, and we will determine the necessary number of fields of view per reading based on what we see. So going, getting started here, this is reading one, field of view one. As I navigate through the layers here. There's a couple small things here. These are just modal bacteria, too small. Should be counted as a ciliate or a flagellate. This appears to be a piece of plant material here. I'm not seeing any active testate amoeba. We do have a piece of actinobacteria right here. Stretched out that piece will be probably 1.5 or uh, 0.15 rather in length. I know it's actinobacteria because it's one micrometer thick. Seem to have a diversity of bacteria here, but nothing else to count for this part of the assessment. So we will move on to field of view number two. There's a test of amoeba here. You can see the opening right there. This is a fungal spore, most likely. We don't count that. This appears to be a cyst. I don't see an opening. It doesn't look like a testate amoeba. We're not counting that. This is a piece of actino here. That's a 0 0.1. Appears to be another piece right here, another point one. We'll add those together to make a point two for actino. One fisty amoeba. This does appear to be a small piece of fungi. I see, it looks like there's a branch here and a septa there. It has a thickness of about two and a half diameter, two and a half micrometers. The length is very short, I would say, 0 0.075. The color is pretty light, but I would say maybe a green. Does not appear to be anything else in this field of view to count. One more quick 
trick through the layers just to make sure. Cover slips a little dirty there. Didn't quite get everything off of it, but that's okay. And that will do it for field of view number two. And we'll move on to field of view number three. A small piece of actina right here. Another piece right here. Third piece here. Oh, and right there, we got something. That's a flagellate right there, bumbling around. So that's one flagellate. We have three pieces of actino. If I add those pieces together, I'm gonna to say it's a 0.2 total. I think this is a sand particle here. There are some interesting test aid amoebas, but this does not look like one. There's another spore. I am now seeing another piece of actino over here. I'm gonna add that as well. Say that's another uh, 0.15. And we've had some pretty decent diversity so far. Technically, oh, look at that. There's another piece of actina hiding. I'm gonna add that one as well, another point two. I'm going to continue with my field of view to improve my reliability of my numbers, my standard deviation. Go ahead and focus out, move on to field of view four. And this does not look like fungi because this end is not Nice and square. This is probably a piece of plant material. There is a test aid amoeba right here with an opening. It is difficult to say, but I would say this is another one. This one. I don't know if that one is in the process of replicating or not, but usually they're end to end, I think. It's difficult to, oh, there's a, something coming through right there. There's another flagellate. Okay. I was looking at this uh, item here. It is difficult to say if that's a test aid amoeba or if that's something else. I'm not gonna count it. I can't clearly identify it. This is still my same flagellate right here. She went on this aggregate on the bacteria. So that's two test aid amoebas in this field of view. One flagellate. I don't see any actino in this field of view and I don't see any bacteria or I don't see any uh, fungi. 
So that concludes field of view four. And we'll move on to field of view five. There is a testate amoeba right there. The opening is on this side. So a couple things here, not counting that. This is a piece of actino. It's another very small piece here, perhaps. There is a piece of fungi right there. Very small piece. It's an okay piece of fungi. It's not the best. It's a little skinny. It's going to be two and a half wide as well. This length is going to be a 0.2 percentage of my field of view. The color is I'm going to say it's tan. It's not really much there, but I see uh, it's perhaps maybe a septa there. It's difficult to say. It's pretty smooth. It doesn't look lumpy bumpy. I'm not going to call it all my seats, although it's sort of borderline as far as the thickness is concerned. Uh, because, but it's pretty, pretty smooth and pretty uniform. So I'm going to classify that as good fungi. More cysts in here, but we don't count those. So my pieces of actino combined are going to be a, probably a 0.1 total. There's under this. Let's see if I can. Move this real quick. Yeah. I'm looking at this item right here. Trying to determine if that is a piece of fungi, but looking at the rest of it, I don't think it, that it is. I think it's a piece of plant material. There is this, this looks like mineral. There's a piece of actino. That's another. Uh, 0.75, 0.75 rather, very small. Um, there is something here. I'm going to look at that through the eyepieces, see if I can see what it is. That looks like plant material. The end of it is a bit frayed here. Goes off screen, can't quite see it. Seeing another piece of actina right here. That's less than 0.1 again, so maybe 0 0.075 also. And I've got my one amoeba. And that's it. That's a pretty nice field of view there. So that is field of view five. Reading number one is complete. I'm going to continue on. And unless I see something new, I will stop narrating.